So as Jason said, my name is Jeff McWhirter. I'm a partner at Gravity Works Design and Development, which is a brand new uh, software development shop which is located in East Lansing. Today I'm going to talk about what it takes to build a better community. Nick, if you could hit it. So Webster defines community as a unified body of individuals, but this is a black and white definition. I like to think of community as much more than that. Community is a group of people who get together, share a common interest. We can see in the pictures in this slide right here, my definition is this slide. Community is a group of people getting together, developing software at the Lansing Give Camp, which happens to be at the end of this month if anybody's interested. Community is about having fun. Many people go to communities for many different reasons, but it's in human nature to want to have a sense of belonging. So what I want to do is talk about building a community and also talk about what it takes to be belong to a successful community. I like to develop, talk about communities in three different ways. First are personal communities. These are your families. You have to belong to these types of communities. Oftentimes a common goal of events with these communities is getting through the event without having a fight. Next type of communities, these are business communities. You go to these every day. Um, also Business Networking International is another type of business community. The goal of events with this type of community is oftentimes selling things. You might not necessarily go out and have a drink with members of this community. Last type of community that I'm most passionate about are social communities. These are groups that are built based on passion. There's lots of groups such as the Michigan Flex Group, the Glugnet, that have leadership that are passionate about different things. So to be successful in community, you have to find your passion. What sort of things you're passionate about? Everyone in this room is passionate about something. They came out to Lansing Ignite. I'm passionate about software development. So most of the communities I belong to revolve around that. You gotta be nice to belong to a community. A lot of times people think software developers are antisocial, mean kind of people. But my experience, that's not really true. They're the nicest people that you'll ever meet. The other thing you have to learn about community is if you have more than three people in your community, there's gonna be politics. So these politics can range from somebody not agreeing with how you're running the event to how you're running the community in general. So when you have politics, that, that leads to stress. And many people leave communities because of the stress that's involved. So you have to outweigh the stress that you have with your community versus the benefits you're getting from that community. If you're stressed out, you should leave that community because you don't want to bring people down. So the Lansing community is a regional community that's built upon hundreds of smaller communities. So if, you, if you're on Twitter, you may have seen the, the hashtag Love Lansing. This is the Lansing community. So there's lots of these social, these small little social communities that help make Lansing a better place to live. Um, new communities such as the Lansing Breakfast Club and Mid Michigan Tweet Up are communities that are great communities and make Lansing a wonderful place to live. And it's upon you to go out and build these communities. If you're looking at building a community, it's gonna be a time commitment. But I recommend going out, establishing friends, and dividing and delegating tasks between you guys so you're not one person taking all that time. The next thing is you need to stay focused. You have to set goals for your group. These goals could be financial based or they could be membership based. Once you establish your goals, you should go out, publish those to your group so you don't, so you don't have politics and you make sure you're following that right direction. So Lansing has lots of great events like Ignite Lansing, TED, Demo Camp, but you know what? We can do a lot better. We can do a lot more. We can have weekly meetings at restaurants, maybe a user group at the university. We can do a lot better. Get creative. Make sure you're soliciting feedback from, from your members. Believe it or not, a lot of people in the community are shy and they don't really want to give you information. But if you give them a survey, they're more than willing to let you know what they like about the community and what they don't like about the community. If somebody doesn't know your event exists, they're not going to be able to come to it. So use social media tools such as Facebook, Twitter, all those things that a lot of people in this room know how to use to broadcast your event. The other thing that you really need to do is you need to branch out. If you know a community exists in, in Ann Arbor or in Grand Rapids and you'd like to develop a community here, join that community in the other area. Take the good ideas from their communities and bring it back to our community to make our community a better place to live. When it's all said and done, the events in the community is not about you. You may have a special guest at your event, you may have media, but you organize that event for the community. It's not about you. Do not be a glory hound.
So this is a list of communities that I belong to in the Lansing area. I encourage you guys to ask the people next to you what communities they belong to. I also encourage you to either start a new community or join an existing community. So my name is Jeff McWhirter, a partner at Gravity Works Design and Development, and it's great to present here at Ignite.